we understand about this virus is, is that it, it is spread through through mucus secretions, mucus secretions meaning that uh, being emitted from the mouth, the nose, etc. Uh, and it is in, in what we call relatively large droplet formation. Now, for this to, to spread from one person to the other, you have to have either fairly pers, pers, uh, close contact um, in the form of droplets being transmitted, as, as is very normal with me even speaking or coughing or sneezing, etc. So the first measure would be to, to try to you know, uh, create some sort of a barrier, either maintaining a, a relatively larger distance. Uh, if, you, if you are known to have the virus, then to obviously use protective measures to prevent the transmission of it from, from, your, from your speech, etc., coughing, sneezing. And even if you don't, just general safety measures of, 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 of good hygiene. Where if you're coughing or sneezing, do it into a tissue or a handkerchief, your personal handkerchief. Obviously dispose of the tissue in, 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 you know, after you've used it each time. If it's a hanky, wash it regularly. Um, secondary measures would be just general good personal hygiene, taking care of your of, of your hands. We know that this virus can stay viable on, on, on surfaces and, and we're not sure exactly how long but definitely uh, 24 hours at this stage from, from, from my understanding. So if you come into surfaces that have been contaminated, possibly contaminated with the virus and you've touched it, just make sure you wash your hands as regularly as possible. At this stage, soap and water is, 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 is fairly adequate. Uh, if you have access to hand sanitizers, which is becoming in short supply across the world, then you could use those. Uh, other measures, again, is um, just making sure your, you know, your health, your immune system is, 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 is in as optimal condition as you can get it. Eating properly, making sure you're drinking plenty of fresh water, taking supplements. You know, you're, we know that certain vitamins do help prevent the, the, the propagation of viruses or the, the incubation of viruses. We're not sure about this particular virus at this stage, but all your general basic healthy lifestyle uh, safety measures with regards to, you know, coughing and sneezing into tissues, like I've said, hand washing, um, regular hand washing. There is a theory that this virus may now be able to spread through 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 stool and feces. We're not sure about this at this stage, but all of this would, would, would tie into just good basic hygiene. One of the first criteria is that you must have come into contact or possibly come into contact with somebody who has been in, a, or in an already affected area. And these areas and, and sites are listed on the World Health Organization site. It's usually through travel to and from these areas. Uh, that person, and, or if that person has been confirmed, that, that you may have come into contact, has been confirmed with, 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 uh, with being infected uh, with the coronavirus, then obviously you become what we call a contact. Please contact uh, in, in South Africa. The first port of contact at the moment is, is the National Institute for Communicable Diseases, known as NICD. They have a website. We will put up the, the contact details for this. So contact them directly. Should you have been in contact with somebody or come into contact with somebody who has been in contact with, with somebody that uh, has traveled to these areas or has been confirmed with the, with the virus and you start to develop symptoms, the first, the first measure is to self-isolate. And what this means is that you keep yourself confined within, if, if, you, if you're staying in a house, within your own room, if you're staying at, 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 at a residence, within your own residence, and call the NICD, you, you're welcome to call the UWC Campus Health uh, Center. UWC is currently putting together a, a central uh, call center, which will, which will, which will make uh, responses a lot more efficient. Uh, but, but please understand, it's, it's only if you have come into contact with somebody who is a known case of, of, of coronavirus, someone who's traveled to an area that's highly affected by the, by the disease, and you are now uh, possibly presenting with symptoms. The early symptoms of, of the coronavirus infection can include symptoms that are, that are fairly generic and general, especially as we go into our cold and flu season. And these, these could include fever, cough, sore throat, as, as early symptoms, body aches. And, and if the, the, the virus takes a hold, it, remember at this stage we understand that it primarily or predominantly affects the, the respiratory mucosa or, um, and, 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 and it has a tendency to, to, to concentrate itself in, 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 in the lung tissue. So if you develop the early symptoms and if it starts to progress into a tight chest, 
severe cough, etc., then certainly please let us know. But remember, you must have either traveled to an area where, where it's, uh, this, this virus is already endemic or uh, come into contact or possibly come into contact with somebody who, who may or may have not have been confirmed with the coronavirus at this stage.